Hello everybody, this is part 4 of modeling a uh, conception faucet. Okay, this as you can see on screen uh, what we have modeled thus far. Okay, now um, in this part I would like to focus on modeling the handle. Okay, let's start. I've already created the curves of this handle from the autographic views okay and i would like to convert these curves into their respective uh, 3d curves okay i'm going to use the curve from two views okay uh, i'm going to use this curve from two views so this is the first view second view so i got this curve okay okay the next thing i want to do is to review this to a lesser control point so i will use the review curve non-uniform okay okay i will need to have a uh, Another set of curves that is uh, below this one that is set uh, 1.2 mm apart. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will use the offset command to offset this uh, new set of curve. Okay, new curve. Okay, so I type offset. So uh, let's set the distance to 1.2. <coughs> And bring it down okay so uh, make sure you're selecting the correct curve okay so you can see I've created another curve that's uh, below it there's a uh, 1.2 1, 1 uh, distant apart from the first one okay For the bottom one, let's uh, do the review uh, curve non-uniform again to reduce the control points. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, remove those uh, initial curves so that they do not confuse us. Let me uh, hide the rest so that we can focus on this portion. to hide this as well okay now uh, what I need to do is um, I need to create a uh, mi mirrored versions of, of this okay let me start by working on this okay so um, we need to do a bit of tweaking to make sure that the curves are better better created okay What I'm doing now is try to reduce the amount of control points. Okay, we actually don't need so much control points. Okay. Oops, that changed too much.
Okay, so uh, let's do the same for the bottom one. Okay, again we need to uh, match this to this this part here. Okay, so we need to select this and move it. Okay, now let's mirror these curves to the other side. Okay, then we must uh, go to uh, use the match to to make sure that uh, this this part uh, meets at this point. Okay, use the match curve and set to average curve. Okay, do the same for the bottom. Make sure the average curve is being used. Okay, okay, I think I've got uh, more or less the, the, the construction curves. for this part I need to move this down a little bit okay let's realign this as well to the end okay okay now uh, let's proceed to create the cross-section curves okay to do that we can use the curve from cross-section profile Okay, so uh, enter. So uh, your cross section curve. So this this part will take a uh, a fair bit of iterations. Okay, so um, in the actual work, you might have to uh, rebuild this this area a couple of times. Okay, but I'm not going to do that because uh, that will take up too much time. Okay, I'll be uh, demonstrating mainly the the techniques okay 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 um i think i will not use this for time being i will just try to use this okay 
So what I'm going to do is um, this is too too sharp, so we need to modify this. So let's use the split. Okay, and then join these two curves together again using the join. And turn on the control points. And we need to adjust this. Okay, you might want to go to a view that you can see the process properly. Okay, so we come to this view. We adjust. Okay. Using the scaling function. Okay, let's start to build the top surface using surface from network of curve. Oh, before that, as you can see, can you see over here that uh, this is a full circle, so we have to break it up, okay? Otherwise, the uh, surface from network curve will not work. So we can break it up using the split, okay? So select object to split is this, cutting object is this, and this, okay? Enter, yeah. So let's do the surface from network of curve. Okay, so yeah, so we got a surface. Okay, so for actual work, you might have to you know um, go through this a few times until you you get the 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 surface that you are satisfied. Okay, so yeah, you look something like that. Okay, so let's uh build the 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 bottom one. Okay, so again, the process is the same. Let me just hide this first, okay? So, curve from cross section profiles. Okay, enter. Okay, I think we got our curves. Okay, so we can build the bottom part using the network curve command again. Okay, so surface on network curves. So select this, 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 this. Click OK. Let's bring back our stuff. Okay, as you can see, we have created these surfaces thus far. Okay. And I think I will stop this part of the demo here. Okay. There will be a part five. Okay. See you around. Bye.